Hi, everyone. So first of all, I'll go through a brief introduction of uh, the structure of my presentation. So first of all, we'll introduce what a gig platform is and uh, some issues that are associated with it. And how do we formulate those issues into an optimization problems? Um, our motivations and main technical contributions, our theor theoretical results analysis, and finally, our, conclu our conclusion. Um, so first of all, markets in the gig economy are featured by the matching process between two parties. The first is the dy dynamic arriving agents called online. And the second is the static agents called offline. So some examples of gig platforms include ride hailing services, where um, drivers are connected with riders, um, crowdsourcing platforms, where workers are assigned tasks, and online recommendations, where customers are suggested uh, different items or products. And one important feature of the gig economy is Due to the low patience of the arriving agents, once they enter the system, uh, we must make an instant matching decision that we cannot change later. And this is one of the important components in our analysis later. And so with the increasing popularity of the click platforms, there are two fundamental issues that are associated with it. The first is the matching, uh, where um, we aim to maximize the total number of matches between online and offline agents in the system. And the second one is pricing. So given that a match will generate a certain revenue, how can we maximize the total profit flowing into the system from those matches? And so in this work, we will tackle these two issues simultaneously by designing a matching and pricing policy such that the total profit is maximized. And so let us formulate the two issues above into an optimization problem. So during each round T, an online agent J will arrive with probability QJT, and one of its poten potential assignments will be selected. So we call a tuple F of IJK an assignment where J will be matched with I and be charged a price of AK. And so this assignment will be selected with probability PFT. And if the capacity of the, on the offline agent I, BI allows, it will be selected and the system will receive a profit of WFT. And so in this context, we consider the known heterogeneous distributions, which uh, assumes that the arriving distributions of online agents are accessible in advance and they can change over each time horizon T. So QJT are given to us in advance and it can change over the time. And so here's our uh, benchmark linear program you need to look into the details of it. So the first line is our objective function, which we aim to maximize the expected total profit and the number of matches. The second is the arrival constraint, which states that the total uh, expected number of assignments an uh, online agent J can have should not exceed its arrival chance. Uh, the third one is on the constraint on the matching capacity of an offline agent I, and the fourth one is trivial. So based on these constraints, we claim that the optimal value of this linear program is a valid upper bound on the performance of an optimal solution for our problem. So um, here are the motivations behind our work. So uh, as you may know, the competitive ratio is a very common metric to evaluate the performance of an online algorithm. However, it can only capture the gap between an online policy and an optimal solution due to the instant matching decision, uh, requirement that we mentioned before in terms of their expected performance. And it has no guarantee on the variance or the robustness of the algorithm. And so even though variance is difficult to uh, study due to the technical challenges that are involved with it, it's very essential in evaluating a risk that um, an algorithm will face a disastrous event, uh, particularly for the maximization problems. So what uh, we mean is that the variance can uh, prove the upper bound on the risk of um, the uh, algorithm um, meeting a worst case performance. And so in this work, we propose two natural sampling policies that are based on the linear program that we mentioned before, uh, where one includes the attenuations factor and one without it. So you can consider attenuation factors as a boosting technique for the algorithm. And so um, 
our main contribution does not lie in the algorithm design process itself, but uh, rather in providing a tight competitive ratio and variance analysis for these two representative policy, which can be generalized to other settings. And so first, let us go to the algorithm with the attenuation factor called ATT, where it takes a parameter gamma from zero to one over two. So in the offline phase, so before the, the agent will arrive, we will solve the linear program and obtain the optimal solution of XFT. We then pre-calculate the attenuation factor better for every agent I and every round T. And now we, when we, it comes to the online phase, when an agent J arrives during round T, we will select one of its potential assignment F out of all the possible ones with probability XFT, uh, the optimal solution times gamma um, over QJT, which is the uh, arrival chance of it times better IT. Uh, here you can treat gamma as a target for the competitive ratio. And now if uh, once uh, we choose an assignment and the capacity of the offline agent I still remains, we will match it with the online agent J. Uh, otherwise, we reject the assignment and we proceed to the next round. Um, and so uh, with our analysis, we are able to prove that this algorithm achieves a competitive ratio of gamma, and we're also able to upper bound the variance of the total number of successful assignments, which is gamma times one minus gamma times B, where gamma takes uh, in the range from zero to one over two, and uh, B uh, is the total capacities of the offline agents. Um, here we showcase an instance that proves the tightness or the worst case performance of our algorithm, which is gamma, and we also prove that this algorithm achieves the optimal competitive ratio of one over two when gamma is, over, is also one over two. And uh, no other algorithms can exceed this barrier for this optimization problem. Um, so here is an instance showcasing the tightness of our variance analysis, which takes a different structure from the instance before. And we also show that it achieves the worst case variance um, in this context which is gamma times one minus gamma times B. And now we go to the next algorithm, uh, the one without attenuations called SAMP, which takes the gamma, but here gamma takes from zero to one. So similarly to the uh, previous algorithm, we first solve the linear program and obtain the optimal solution. And when an online agent arrives during the round T, we will select uh, its assignment F with probability gamma times XFT over QJT. And if uh, similarly, if the capacity of I um, still feasible, we select the, this assignment, otherwise we reject it. And um, we show that it's, uh, this algorithm achieves a competitive ratio of gamma times one minus gamma for this problem. And we upper bound the variance of H, H being the total number of successful assignments that we made and um, where a gamma, a gamma bar is, takes the minimum between gamma and one over two. Um, here's the instance showcasing um, the worst case performance of algorithm and the tightness of it, regardless of the result of the benchmark linear program, which is uh, one gamma times one minus gamma. And here's the uh, um, instance showcasing the tightness of our algorithm. Um, when gamma takes from value from zero to one. And so in conclusion, we provide um, a tight competitive ratio and variance analysis of two representative online policies for the matching and pricing issues in gig platforms. Um, for future directions, we can extend the current analysis techniques to other settings. So the first is the weighted objective, where instead of the total number of successful assignments, we uh, will analyze the variance of the total profit. Uh, the second one is we can relax the uh, arriving assumptions to other distributions, for example, random arrival order or adversary. And so that is the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening.